Greetings! This is steel wool. It's often used in the kitchen for cleaning pots and pans. Sometimes it's even used in the wood shop for buffing surfaces. Well, there's something else you may know about steel wool, and that is when you set it on fire or touch it with a 9 volt battery, it starts to burn. Now what you may not know is that something else really interesting also happens. And we're going to check that out in just a moment. still going. Ooh, lots of little sparkles. Waiting for it to finish. It's almost gone. Okay, so let's look at what's left over. It still looks kind of like steel wool, but it's not as shiny. It may be hard to tell, but it's crumbling in my fingers. It's not nearly as strong as it was before. Is it possible that there was some form of a chemical change? Let's investigate. All right, so I've grabbed a scientific scale. You'll notice it's fluctuating just a little bit. That's because even air currents can cause it to change. And I have that same metal bowl. I put it on there. And I want to ignore the bowl. So here at the bottom, on, zero, off. Some scales call it tear, T-A-R-E. But the idea is that it ignores whatever mass it's holding. So now it's reset to zero. I have another piece of the steel wool, and I've shredded it, spread it out a little bit, so there's lots of airspace around it. Let's weigh it and see what happens. Oh, my scale's off again. I'm going to reset it. Let it go back to zero. And let's see how much steel wool we have. 0. 0.520 grams. Point 0.51817 grams. It's changing just a little bit. Now, let's do the same thing with our battery and watch it go. I'll speed this section up so it doesn't take forever. Woo! Look at it go! Look at it go! Look at it go! Okay, it looks like it's finally finished. Let's take a look at our scale now. What does that suggest to you? Look at the before and the after. I didn't stop the film. I didn't add anything to it. All I did was touch it with the 9-volt battery. In the comments below, describe what you think caused the change.